John, post-COVID landscape for retailers, is it about shared values where you source your product or is it about cost and quality? Is that still driving these decisions? I think, look, prior to the pandemic and going into the trade war, certainly retailers were looking at diversifying their supply chains for a variety of reasons. For the past 20 plus years I've been doing this, retailers have always looked to, to diversify for a variety of reasons. Certainly the trade war sped up some of that movement, trying to find alternatives to China. But I think as many found out, even then and during, during COVID, it, it takes time to switch your supply chain. It's not something that can be done overnight. It takes months, if not years, to find new vendors and suppliers that can meet all your requirements that you have on quality and quantity, meet any U.S. requirements, product safety requirements that are there, but also making sure you've got the skilled workforce where it needs to be. You've got logistics and infrastructure where it needs to be. And a lot of that still needs to be worked out. I think as one person told me, there's no new China that has all the capacity that China does. So you can't move everything out of China all at once. It takes some time. But I think certainly folks have been looking to diversify, not just because of the tensions with the U.S.-China trade relationship, which I think are going to continue, but also realizing what's happened over the past couple of years with all the supply chain challenges, that you need a more diversified and more resilient supply chain.